Hello there, Trailblazer users. This video is going to highlight how you can leverage stripo.email to easily craft a professional looking email message and then export it to send to your contacts through Trailblazer. Now, I'm not going to go into the depths of how to craft the message, but having used their UI, I can tell you is extremely intuitive. And whether you choose to build a blank template from the ground up or use one of their expertly crafted pre-built templates, you're not going to have a problem getting the message and the look that you desire from their system. Before we go any further, I do want to tell you that really quick, you can hop onto their website and get started with this for free. However, if you need more exports per month or additional users, you'll find that their plans are also very competitive. And right now, you'll notice they also have a promo running where you can get up to two months free if you choose one of their paid plans. Now, let's go ahead and hop back to the message. As I stated, we are not going to go ahead from point A to point B and create the message. So we're just going to use, again, one of their really nice pre-built templates that they've already constructed for us. I'll go ahead and grab the second one here because we're not really picky about the look or the message. We just want to see that what we build here is going to be able to use inside of Trailblazer. So I'm not going to make any changes at this point. What I will tell you is that at this point, you would build the email again to meet your needs, the look, the feel, the message content, etc. You're going to hammer that all out here. Once the message is done, then you're going to proceed to the export button kind of top center screen here. Once I choose this option, it's going to go through first. It's going to check. Do I have any exports left? Which I do. And then it's going to ask how we want to export this. Now, the option that you want to choose is going to be HTML. For me, it's here at the top because I've already used it before. So it's telling me that it's a recently used one. But the first time you log in, you're just going to have the export to file or application option. So in here, you'll want to find HTML. Once you select this, you're going to have a handful of additional options. I recommend that you move the tab to HTML code and that you at least have the option checked here for support of accessibility. From here, go to show HTML code, and then the code itself will be built. Now, from here, we're going to grab it and prep it for Trailblazer. And by prep, I mean we're going to copy it into the clipboard. So that's all we'll do. Tap on copy to clipboard. Now we're going to proceed over to Trailblazer. As you can see, I'm already in the email campaign, so I'm ready to go. I haven't gone through the steps to go search for people and build the campaign. However, if you need to know how to do that, I'll put a link in the description below. Here, we're just going to focus on getting the message out the door. So it assumes that you already know how to get to this point. Now, we need to go into the source code to actually put in that HTML. And to do that, we're going to click on the button here labeled source. One of the things I'll point out is once you tap on that, you'll see that all these other editing icons become grayed out. So this is an easy way, especially when your content is blank, to be able to tell, am I looking at the HTML code or the source, or am I looking at the regular editor? So again, when I'm in the editor, all of these editing icons become available. And then when I tap on source, they all get grayed out with the exception of the preview. So once I've got into the HTML code or the source, I'm going to go ahead and paste in my content. And if you're not familiar with HTML, it may look like a bunch of gobbledygook, but I assure you, this is the content of the message that you built. So we're going to tap on source to go back to that. And here we can see that it's exactly the content built in Stripe.io. The only thing that I want to do with this here is I'm going to replace this hello Stuart with a merge field. So I'm going to bring in the first name or organization name. Now I'm pulling in the data from Trailblazer so that I can acknowledge the individuals that I'm reaching out to. So everything else can remain the same. Again, I'm not necessarily concerned with the content. I just want you to see the end product. So I'm going to select to test this. I don't need to send out the full campaign and I'm just going to whittle this down to me. So I'll go ahead and hit OK and that'll head out the door. And then I've already sent one of these tests over, so we don't even have to wait. Here's what it's going to look like when you receive it. And again, the whole point of this is to show you that the email that you built, that professional looking email that you constructed easily in stripo.email is all here, all available. And then it did, once we changed over that merge field, it did bring in the content that recognizes the contact 
information or the individual that we are reaching out to. So again, you can leverage stripeo.email to construct easily, beautifully, well-crafted emails and then incorporate those to send them to your recipients through Trailblazer. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit us up. You can always give us a call on our support line or shoot us an email at support.trailblz.com.